Now to the mess left behind in Rothbury. Electric Forest Music Festival wrapped up days ago, and while the crowds of music lovers are gone, Drone 8 showing us that trash still litters that area. News 8's Demetria Sanders shows us a massive effort to clean up the forest. One group of volunteers from across the country are lending a big helping hand. We got to leave a good mark on the community like we had fun now it's time to take care of what we did you know after tens of thousands of electronic music fans left the double jj ranch in rothbury on monday this is some of the waste left behind you see all these tents and canopies man it seems like people just came here trash place and left some festival goers say bad weather that hit the festival over the weekend may have played a big role I feel like it wouldn't be this bad if we hadn't had that storm that just hit on Sunday. Everybody's stuff got soaked and ruined, so they've left their tents, they've left canopies, they've left clothes. To help clean up the festival site, Electric Forest staff partner with the program Clean Vibes. The volunteer group provides event waste services at music festivals around the U.S. At shows like Electric Forest, those who participate receive free admission in exchange. You get a free wristband, but that's secondary. That's secondary to saving the world and the environment and trying to take care of these campgrounds here because that's the real goal here. High five. <laughs> Trash. This week, more than 150 volunteers with Clean Vibes Electricology Green Team sorted and picked up trash. There's also a big emphasis on recycling. The big things like this that like obviously aren't touched by food, they're going to recycle it, but anything that's like food product, like you never know what was actually in it. If they cleaned it out properly, you can't contaminate all the whole batch of things for one thing. Samantha Georgiou says the opportunity to help out is rewarding. So it's nice that I can find something that's fun, that doesn't cost me a million dollars, but still like I can give back. And since Monday, volunteers like Todd Griswold say the cleanup has come a long way. We're making good progress. I wish we could be here all week, you know, but I got to go back to my job and make money myself, you know. Now the Electricology Green team wrapped up their portion of cleanup today. In Rothbury, Demetria Sanders, News 8.